How is it going everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today guys we're going to get a brand new video talking about Need for Speed, talking about the future of Need for Speed in terms of DLC brand new content coming to the game which honestly I'm very excited for the guys over at Need for Speed have done a fantastic job with Need for Speed and I'm hoping you know for the distant future that Ghost stay as the main developer for Need for Speed because they've done a fantastic job too. Now, uh, as you guys know, if you guys have been playing Need for Speed or watching my series on my channel, my walkthrough, you guys know that we're having a blast at this game. You guys are having a blast where well, you guys have been commenting and let me know how much you're enjoying the game and stuff like that. And also let me know in the comments, guys, down below if you guys are enjoying it. You know, which level are you at at the moment? I'm near level 46. The new level cap has gone up to 60, so if any of you are at 60 then kudos to you but um but yeah so a lot of you want to know about dlc i made a video about a few weeks ago talking about dlc in terms that we don't have to buy or pay for any dlc all future dlc for need for speed will be free now people want to know what this dlc will actually be you know what's included in this dlc and I have some information, and I also want to know, in the comments, guys, down below, what do you guys want to see? What can Need for Speed do better by, you know, bringing in additional content to make the game last longer, to make the game more fun for yourself? So let me know, because, you know, I will, you know, we'll try, you know, try, we'll try to see if someone from the EA or Ghost or from Need for Speed can even watch this video. They might even take some of my ideas. So make sure you guys comment down below what you want to see in Need for Speed and additional content and maybe they will list that'd be pretty awesome so I have some information about you know what potentially could be coming as well as my own personal ideas on what they could do to improve the, uh, you know Need for Speed in terms of additional DLC so first things first so Need for Speed on Twitter are very active indeed shout out to those guys those guys have been going ham with the, with the support and you know er basically everything with Need for Speed and, uh, you know, if you ask them a question, they normally tweet out and saying, like, oh, you know, guys, what are you building today? Or, you know, how are you, ha are you having fun or whatever? And, you know, they, they like to reply. They're very active, which is awesome, especially, you know, for a gaming company which, you know, are interacting with their fans and the guys who are playing their game. So, uh, talking about DLC, so a guy called Michael writes, so Michael tweeted out a, like, a picture and uh, to Need for Speed, and Need for Speed reply back saying, that's a beauty, Michael, thanks for sharing. And, um, you know, Michael comes back and says, you know, thanks for an awesome game. And then Need for Speed come back again and say, you know, it's very much our pleasure, Michael. It's great to hear that you're enjoying it. You know, Need for Speed is a fantastic game. One of the best racing games I've ever played. I mean, Forza 2, For Forza, 2 Forza Horizon 2 is one of my favorite games. And Need for Speed, you know, is slightly arcade, but it's just a fantastic game. And it's definitely one of the, like, one of my top five games this year honestly one of the amazing games and michael goes back and says it'd be even better if there would be more cars soon so you know if you guys are playing need for speed right now you guys know that you can buy straight away like the volvo some brass you know rubbish volvo at the start which is very slow indeed i think it was um it might have made an appearance on the tv show top gear where uh, jeremy clarkson just you know drove it around i think bought it for a pound or something very cheap indeed and you go all the way up to the ferrari is it f40 or f50 so like i think the value of cars go from like seven thousand dollars all the way to like over two hundred thousand dollars which is a pretty insane amount and there's quite a good variety of cars at the moment of it's normally like two of each brand or two of each make so there's two there's only what there's two ferraris two lamborghinis two porsches only one mclaren uh you know we've got like we, we do have some like we have a nissan gtr we have stuff like so there's definitely a lot of cars in there however you know it would be nice, like the guy said, you know, if there would be more cars and maybe some more cars as future DLC. Uh, what cars would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments, guys, down below. Um, I would like to see maybe a Bugatti Veyron, a McLaren P1, maybe a Ferrari LaFerrari. Oh, that'd be amazing. Maybe a Jaguar F-Type, uh, you know, just some insane cars would be, you know, amazing. Maybe, maybe like, even, like, you know, some, like, electric cars. Maybe, like, the BMW i8 or an Audi. I know an Audi R8 is not electronic, but, you know, an Audi R8 would be quite nice to put in the game. Or, or you know, maybe just, you know, the, uh, what is it, the Tesla. That'd be pretty cool. But, um, but as for the cars, now, I regarding cars... We have a garage, right? And we can only slot five cars at a time. Now, EA, Ghost, Need for Speed, if you're listening, are we able to add an additional slot in? I mean, five is good enough, but I think, you know, maybe what they should do and, you know, they can incorporate 
is every time you get like an extra, you know, we get to a certain rep level, we get additional car parking spot. The only reason I say is that, you know, I have an amazing garage and I don't want to sell like one of my cars to, you know, buy another one. I like to just keep building my garage up or maybe have the option where there's a, there's an option where it's only available for free cars. So like, you know, you know, you've got Ken Block's car, you've got the Lamborghini Diablo, uh, you know, you've got Naka San's car, you've also got Magnus Walker's car, and maybe there should be a separate car parking spot, a separate garage spot for those downloadable cars, or the cars which are free, which I think is pretty cool. So, moving on from that, right, so EA, you know, EA, Need for Speed, Ghost, you know, they reply back to Michael and say, you know, well... Stay tuned there, Michael. You, you're, you, uh, I can't even speak for some reason. They basically say you'll hear some news on future DLC here first. And Michael goes back saying that sounds great. And, you know, Nevis B coming back with a cheeky emo a thumbs up emoji. So, um, DLC in terms of cars, I think additional cars would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe some new car parking spots. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's quite basic, but pretty nice if we could have that feature. Uh, maybe like another tier in the garage or something like that. I would like to see some more missions as well. That'll be pretty cool in terms of you know, because they increase the rep right. So on the patch, they you know they increase the rep from 50 to 60 to enable us to have like more things to do or more things to aim for. However, when you do complete the game, you know you are just playing missions over and over again. So maybe they could be a new series where, uh, you know, there is a thing called the group missions or where, like, you know, you've got, like, the whole squad together. So, like, Amy, Manu, you know, Spike, etc. All those guys together and you race those guys in a series of challenges. So maybe, like, um, you know, 10 or 15 or 20, you know, even 20 would be better, like, additional missions where, you know, we have the option to uh, do different types of races with the squad. Because we have, because you know when you complete the game, I'm not going to make any spoilers, because I actually haven't completed the game, but, you know, when you do complete the game, you pretty much, you know, complete all the main missions, right? So it would be pretty awesome if we can do some, you know, group missions or something like that. That would be pretty cool. So new missions, EA, that would be pretty awesome to go for. I'm also thinking, right, so... New cars, an extra garage spot, some new missions. Now, as well as, I wouldn't mind seeing some multiplayer. Now, multiplayer is in the game in terms of, you know, you have, it's always online, and you do see the odd guy online who is, you know, a real-life player. Now, it, maybe if EA could add in the option to, you know, have races, like multiplayer races against, you know, you versus other races. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I'm not too sure, uh, you know, why they didn't make it online, but if they could make, I know it is online at the moment, if they could actually make it actual multiplayer where you can actually race against other people, I think that'd be pretty cool because when you complete the game, you've got something else to aim for and you'll be able to compare. It might be a little bit harder, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, so that's it, guys. And finally, one thing, if EA could do this and if EA are watching, you know, would it be possible to maybe have a difficulty level or have an option to earn more credits and more rep by changing a few settings? So maybe if you, you know, make the difficulty medium, you get plus 10% credits or something like that. Or, you know, if you turn off brake assist or something like that, which enables you to have more credits by winning the race because you're sort of, you know, making yourself more of a handicap then uh, you know pretty cool but anyway thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up guys subscribe if you're new comment down below what you guys want to see in need for speed and as always i'll be seeing you guys in my next video so have a wonderful day and adios chaps boom